Right, open, go to MT5. Right. Right. Uh, can you? Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, so where were we yesterday yesterday what i wanted to show you i wanted to show you one way of knowing when to buy and when to sell i also wanted to talk about ama ama time frames yeah. right so if you check lapana go to m1 Right, fix your chat. Me fix it. Yeah, like I want you to push everything to this yeah. side. So, go to the top. Ah, uh -uh. uh -uh. the other one. The other one. Yeah, that one. Click it again, again, yeah. No, again, yeah, yeah, it's fine now. Right, what this means, like when you're on M1, it means you're on one minute time frame. One minute time frame, uh, it means for, you, you see those, those, those blue, those blue and red candles. Yeah. Yeah, those ones, we call them candlesticks. So those candlesticks now, for each and every candlestick to, to form on one minute, it means it takes one minute. Mm -hmm. So right now, this current candle, within one, min one minute, you see it closing. Yeah. So you see that one, it just closed, it just opened another one. That other one yeah. for it, I mean, look at the candles. Look at the current candle yeah. right now. You see the current candle right now, that one? Yeah. Yes, the I'm last saying, one. yes, the last one. That one, that candle for it to close or for it to fully form, it's going to take one minute. Okay. So in one minute, you see it closing and then opening another one. Don't worry about that. When you are just worried about the way it's going to close, is it going to close? Um, don't worry about that. So you see, just closed, just open another one. Yeah. Right. So on one minute, it takes one minute for all those candles that you have seen to form. So it means in an hour, in an hour, we're going to have 60 candles. Ah, how many minutes are in an hour? How many, how many, how many minutes are in, in one hour? 60 minutes, right? Right, so meaning in one hour, we're going to have 60 candles. 60 candles on one minute. So meaning one, one candle on a one hour time frame. Is equals to 60 candles on one minute time frame. Is 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 that are we are we together there? One minute on a on a one hour candle. No, one candle. <laughs> one candle on, on one hour time frame. One candle on one hour time frame. Yeah. Is equals to 60 candles on one minute time frame. Mm. 
I carry one hour in one hour. We have 60 minutes. Yeah. And we are saying on one. But Mount City, one candle. Ah, okay. Yeah, it okay so <laughs> these candles are the ones that make you or lose you money these candles that you are seeing okay so uh so if you go to five minutes it means one candle on five minute time frame it's goes to five candles on one minute time frame All right Mm. Mm. So, what's the purpose of these time frames is to for you to understand the way the market is going in the long run. The purpose of the monthly time frame, weekly time frame, daily time frame, all those big time frames that you see, like monthly, weekly, daily, H4, all those big time frames, their purpose is to give you the overall direction of where the market is going to go, right? Mm -hmm. Once you have seen yeah. where the market is going to go there, once you have seen where the market is going to go, um, what you do when you come to lower time frames like the M15, M5, or M30, there, that's where you enter your what? Your trades. Okay. But you enter there using the direction that you got from the higher time frames. Okay. Okay. I want you to go to the go to the daily time frame. Yeah. D1. D1. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So on the D1. We want to place what we call support and resistance. Support and resistance, these are levels on the market or levels in the chart where the market responded to most of the times. So areas on the market where the, the price responded to most of the times, they are likely to be responded to even in the future. So support, support and resistance, you're simply placing lines. Can you can you zoom in? I want you to do a zoom in, right? Complete zoom in. Fix your chart. Right, I yeah, know it's fine. Or go to go to H4. I think H4 is going to be more clear. Uh, H4 is going to be more clearer than D1. Fix your chart. Right. Zoom out a bit. Zoom out again. Okay. Just okay. Zoom in. I want you to see the area that is where where the market is right now. Okay, yeah, it's fine like that. So I want you to take, uh, can you see that that line there? You see the icons that are there at the top there? You see that horizontal line? Mm. Yes. Click it. Select the horizontal line. Oh. At the top. You see the icons that are at the top? Horizontal line. Okay. Horizontal. Yes. Nine. Uh -huh. Select. So I want you to place it. Uh, just place it anywhere on your screen. Then you just place it anywhere on your chart there. Place it. Uh -huh. I want you to drag it now. Drag it down. Down. Right. I want you to place it. You see, you see, just below, go place it lower. Uh, 
Loa. 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 Loa, 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 Loa. Right there. Right there. There. Right. Uh, so, what we are saying now is that area there, if you check that area, if you check all the candles that touched that that area, can you see that all of them, they were failing to break beyond that area? Ten. Ah. <laughs> I'm saying that area where you placed your line. Yeah. Can you see that all the candles in that area, they failed to break below that area? Yeah. Right? So that is what you call mm. a support. Because it's supporting the market, uh, it's supporting all the candles above it. So a support, that is a support. So at the top, at the top of the market, you place what you call a resistance. So I want you to place a resistance at the top. Take your horizontal line again. Right. I want you to drag it, drag it, drag it lower. I want, I want it close to where the market is. Drag it lower. Go down. Down, 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 down. Right, just above, just above, just above, just above again, above, 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 push it up. Right there, just above, the, just above, just push it a little bit up, right there. Right, if you check there, if you check to the left, can you see to the left, the candles that are to the left there? Mm -hmm. Those candles there, they reached that area. And if you check after reaching that area, what happened? They bounced there. They failed to break that area, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So that makes it a, a support. So it was acting as a support so long the market was above that line. It was acting as a support. So when you see the support now, so if you check these candles, the ones that are currently now here, yeah. when you see the support now being broken, like what happened here, these candles, they broke that support, right? Mm -hmm. After yeah. breaking that support, they are now playing below that support. Okay. So when your support is broken, when your support is broken, you sell. Because we are saying a support, it pushes, it, 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 it maintains candles to be above it, right? We are saying at a support, if ever the market respects, it has to go up, right? Yeah. So I'm saying that support uh the purpose of a support is to make sure that the candles above it if ever candles they respect above it just to push the market higher so there if you check there the price came to the support and the support was broken so when your support is broken it means the chances of the market going down they are high
they are high. So, so for example, that was broken, meaning uh, the chances of this market continuing to sell is going to be high than the chances of it buying because our support has been what? Has been broken. So, same as this support that you placed, this new support that you have just placed, right? Mm -hmm. If you see that support broken, what does it mean? When you tell them I swear to buy. <laughs> no, like, if you see a support being broken, it means chances of the market continuing to go down are high. So that support is on H4, right? H4, it means four hour time frame, meaning this current candle that you are seeing is going to take four hours for it to close. Right? This one, okay. Okay. So go to go to go to H1. Fix your chart. Fix it, yeah. So this is H1. It means for that current candle that is there, it's going to take one hour for it to close. Zoom in. Right. So that support that we have, what we want once it's broken, it means we're going to sell. Right? Okay. Once that support that you've drawn there, once it is broken, we are going to sell. Which one? Then? The one at the bottom. Oh, okay. That one that is at the top, it's no longer acting as a support. It's now the opposite of a support. When when your line is above the market, it's called a resistance. Mm, okay. So that is now a resistance. That one at the top is now a resistance. The one at the bottom is now a what? A support. A support. So if my support is broken, I sell. If my resistance is broken, that resistance that you have drawn, Buy. You what? You buy. buy. Simple as that. So that is the whole concept today. Once that support that you've drawn is broken, you are going to sell. Right? Mm -hmm. When I mean broken, I mean the candle. It has to break that line and close below that line. You see all these candles on your support they failed to close below the line. You mean the candle is of I mean the the whole you see you see those candles they've 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 a line and they have that thick body, right? Yeah. So the body it has to break your support. Okay. It has to break, like it has to break that line that you've drawn and close below that level. Okay. So if that happens, you're going to sell. Right? Then, yeah. as for the resistance now, if the resistance is broken, what are you going to do? Buy. You are going to buy. So you can even go to 15 minutes or 30 minutes. Go to 15 minutes. Right. Fix your chart. Let's see. So, Tilana. Fix your chart. 
zoom out a bit. Zoom out again. Right, it's done like that. So you can see your support right now. It's clear on 15 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. Then your resistance, I want you to refine it and push it lower. Drag your resistance and put it lower. Put it at an area where the market failed to close above for so many times. I mean, I was market. There. Exactly there. There, if you check there, those candles there, where your mouse is, they fail to close above. The next candles to the right, they fail to close above. Fail to close above, fail to close above. So the majority of the candles there, they failed to close above that level. Can you see it? Yeah. Right. So that was why one could have sold there. So if ever that resistance is broken, you are going to buy. Broken, I mean the candle, it has to, the body of the candle it has to close above the line. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So same as the support. Once you see your support on M15, on 15 minutes, is once you see it broken, you're going to what? To sell. Do you understand? Yeah. Right. So you can even go to crash 500 and draw support and resistance. Go to crash 500. Let's see. Favor this any support and right. So this is crash uh 500. Thank you, horizontal line. Right, put it on your screen, push it up, up, double click it. Double click it first, then you drag it. Uh -huh. Push it up. Ah, double click it again and push it. Push it up. Drag it. Up, up, up. Ah, go down, down. Right there. Right, that is your, that is your support. Why is it your support? If you look to the left and to the right, uh, candles, they, they have been failing to close below there. Can you see it? Yeah. Take your horizontal line again and draw a resistance. Down, drag it down, there, just up, just above there, right there. So that is your resistance because if you check to the right, candles there, they failed to close above that level, right? Mm -hmm. So Right now, you have a crash 500 sell. Uh, you have a crash 500 sell. I want you to close it. Even the VIX trade, close it again. All those ones, close it. Close them. Yes. Right. So... We have our support, we have our resistance on crash 500. We are saying if ever our resistance is broken, what are you going to do? You're going to buy. If your support is broken, you're going to what? To sell. Right? So same, go back to volatility 75. Same on volatility 75, 
we have our support and our resistance as well. We are saying if our support is broken, we are going to sell. If our resistance is broken, we're going to buy, right? Mm -hmm. Right, go to Boom 500 and draw support and resistance as well. Right. So in cases where it's not clear, for example, right now you're on H1. If ever you see that uh, it might not be clear. Uh, for example, okay. Okay. Yeah, that one, that one is okay. That resistance is fine. Then the support, I want you to shift it up a bit. Shift it up a bit. Shift it up. 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 There. There. Can you see that those candles there, close to that line, they failed yeah. to close below the line. Yeah. So it, it, it qualifies to be a support. That resistance, if you check to the left, there were candles that failed to close below there and then to the right. So that one is a good resistance, that one's a good support. So we are saying if our resistance, if our support is broken, we what? We sell. If our resistance is broken, we what? We buy. We buy. So you have your support and the resistance on Boom 500, Crash 500 as well, as well as VIX 75. So right now, what you now need to do is just to be monitoring your support and resistance. Have they been broken? If ever your support is broken, you sell. If ever your resistance is broken, you buy. That wasn't it. The network changes. Yes. <laughs> See, that was a network change. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Bye.